continuing the halachot of Hanukkah, does a person have to wait when he lights Hanukkah candles in his home? Does he have to wait for his wife, kids, for the entire family to be present at the time of lighting or not? So halachically speaking, there's no obligation for everybody to be present. The mitzvah Hanukkah is ner ishu beto, like the words of the Gemara and Shabbat, meaning that it's a candle per household. And the second a candle is lit in that house, the Shem Mitzvah, everybody in that house discharges their obligation of Mitzvah Hanukkah and does not have to recite any Berachot. Or at least doesn't have to light candles that night. If, whether he comes home or whether he's staying somewhere else. The question is in regards to Birkat Shehasan Nisim and Birkat Shehiyan. We know that the Gemara says that in Hanukkah there's a unique Halakha in regards to Birkat Aru'eh. Somebody who sees the Hanukkah candles, he blesses the Brachot of Shehasan Nisim and Shehiyan on the first night. Obviously, he doesn't bless that leak because he's not lighting. But the Shukhan Aruch discusses whether or not that is in, also in the case where I have someone lighting for me in my house. Let's say my wife is home, I have a shu Torah, I'm staying out till late, and I'm not home when, when she lit the candles. I see a Hanukkah. Do I have to bless Shehassan Isim or not? So the Maldechi says, yes, you do, because it's a Birkat Hoda'ah on each, in the, per, each person. It's Chobat Gavra. It's an obligation on the person himself. And he cannot discharge his obligation with the lighting of his wife or anybody in his house. But there are many Rishonim that disagree, the Rashba, the Ran, and the Samag, Sefer Mitzvot Gadol, and that is the Halakha of the Shukhan Aruch. He holds that in regards to Bikat Shehassan Nisim, you should not bless it. Uh, but again, it is a Makhloket, so you should try and avoid getting into such a case. The question becomes, what about Bikat Shehiyanu? Assuming the husband is not home for the first night of Shehiyanu, or the first night of Hanukkah, his wife lit and blessed Sheikh Yanu on his behalf. The second night he comes home and he wants to light. Does he bless Sheikh Yanu when he lights that night or not? Is the Sheikh Yanu on the actual Hanukkah and he also discharges obligation through his wife? Or does he have to bless when he lights? That's the question. So the Mishnah Be'ura, he quotes the Magen Avraham, also the Kafah Haim Sofer, one of the great Sephardi Poskim from Yerushalayim. He holds that you, the husband should not bless or the person lighting the second night should not bless Sheikh Yanu, just like by Shehassan Nisim, he discharges obligation, same would be by Sheikh Yanu. But comes to Chacham Avadiyah, he says a big Hidush. Chacham Avadiyah says that in regards to Sheikh Yanu, there, although we hold by Shehassan Nisim, it's not Chobat Gavra, here you are also doing a mitzvah, that for the first time actually lighting it, and it could be, based on the Modechi and many other Yishonim, it is a Chiyuv Gavra, and therefore Chacham Avadiyah writes that in regards to Shehassan Nisim, you should not bless. But Sheikh Yanu, you should bless the second night, or whatever night it is that you come to light. If it's the fifth night, is the first time you're lighting, he says you should bless Sheikh Yanu that night. To avoid the mahloket, there's two pieces of advice that are great. One, is if the husband is present at the Beit Knesset that night. If he lights the first night, great. But even if he doesn't, he could have the Mevarech, who blesses Sheikh Yanu that night, say to him, listen, have me in mind when you bless Sheikh Yanu. And therefore, he obviously discharges the obligation of Sheikh Yanu on Hanukkah, through the lighting of the rabbi or the person in the Beit Knesset, that's option number one. Option number two, which is also very good, is that when his wife blesses or his son, whoever it is at home, blesses Sheikh Yanu, they should have in mind that for Ladikne Hanukkah and Shehassan Nisim, I'm having in mind my husband or whoever it is that's not at home. But in regards to Sheikh Yanu, I'm having in mind not to be Yotzeh de Chova. And therefore, regardless, obviously he's not Yotzeh, the Braha Sheikh Yanu, and he could bless the Kule Alma, the Braha Sheikh Yanu, when he finally comes to light. So that's the conclusion. Those who follow Chacham Avada, regardless if he, she had that kavana or you saw candles, whatever it is, you would bless Sheikh Yanu. And to avoid it, it would be better to have the wife or the person lighting have in mind to not include them.